Hi, sorry, I have a little bit of a voice issue, but thank you for having me. Um, my name is Lee Carmody. Um, I'm going to talk to you about um, the medical action ontology, uh, Maxo, and the tool uh, implementation of uh, to annotate rare disease. Um, as many of you well know about rare disease, is that it's not so rare. Actually, 400 million people globally have uh, are affected by rare disease. Um, there's a long time of four to five years for diagnosis, and so identifying treatments to work as quickly as possible. I, uh, diagnosis and treatment is critical for the um, uh, um, health of uh, patients. Um, treatments have been difficult to find. Uh, there are good resources like gene reviews and uh, chitabulome, and there are a number of papers in the primary literature. Um, but for extremely rare um, disease, um, um, there are very few um, uh, sorry um, sources that uh, bring all of this together, and um, only five percent of uh, rare diseases have treatments. So there's 95 percent um, uh, that do not have treatments or or have information about um, how to treat. Um, so we are identifying any um, sources that can um, uh, treat either directly the disease itself or the disease phenotypes um, because medical actions um, can uh, uh, rarely interact directly with the disease but often are, are, are focused on the subcomponents of um, the disease. Um, for the past few years, we've been developing the Medical Action Ontology, which is a broad-based ontology um, that is well-defined um, terms for clinical annotations. Um, we include um, diagnostic um, procedures, preventative um, therapeutic procedures, or commonly called treatments, um, as well as we have um, other categories, including um, medical action avoidance um, there are some cases where patients cannot tolerate certain medical actions, so we want to include all types of recommendations. Um, in, in addition, um, our terms are largely built by um, other OBO ontologies using logical definitions. Um, for all of our terms, we include um, textual definitions, and very critical is um, the synonyms that we include because if you find in literature, there is no consensus on how to refer to terms, and so it makes it very difficult for one of our goals is to eventually do text mining. Um, but just gathering the n number of synonyms and how they're related is, is um, quite an effort. Um, so um, as I was mentioning before, um, when you annotate disease with medical actions, you can, um, let's see, directly do um, treatments for disease, but very few uh, treatments actually um, target the disease. Um, they um, target the disease manifestations here. They can, uh, medical actions can prevent, um, treat, or investigate. And um, we have uh, developed a tool, POET. Um, let's see, is that? There we go. Um, poet uh, to capture these annotations. This is the landing page, and this is the landing page of uh, a senior curator um, that shows the uh, amount of activity that um, has happened within, um, I, I believe it captures within the, uh, the last two weeks um, of curation. Um, it shows the number of curators that have been um, uh, annotating. Um, the number of areas of interest um, that people have been curating, and action items. For uh, me as a lead um, curator, um, it would be responsible to go and review um, uh, submitted um, annotations. Um, but it, for the community, it, this um, action items would be if say the annotations were rejected or would like further information or questions about that, um, it would appear in um, this panel here. Um, now here's the uh, 
anatomy of how um, the page works for annotations. Um, so you can select um, a specific um, disease and um, it's related, OMEM and Mondo ID are, are there. Um, I have not shown here, but they have um, um, 11 phenotypes have been associated with this disease. Um, currently only two treatments have been identified here. Um, so, sorry, I should look this way. Um, each um, annotation requires um, a PubMed um, identification or other uh, direct source um, at the top. And then um, uh, it either requires um, a phenotype that is already associated with the disease, or there's a checkbox you can um, say if the medical action is annotating to the entire disease. Um, and um, as you can see, um, stage five chronic kidney disease is associated with focal segmental glomerulosclerosis. Um, and peritoneal dialysis, Maxo, um, is, and I've, I've shown here as the drop down of the um, relationships between the medical action and um, uh, the phenotype. Um, in this case, it treats, but you can also say it prevents, it investigates, um, it's uh, contraindicated for, um, uh, or no observed benefit. And the no observed benefit, we're, we're primarily um, reserving that for um, some of the rarest diseases where there aren't um, large-scale studies. Um, sometimes there are only case reports of one or two. Um, all. Of, all of the current um, uh, curations are traceable author statements, and um, um, traceable author statements, and so they are uh, uh, not just automatically downloaded from the web because we want to take care of trying to um, uh, uh, ensure that they are accurate. Um, so just sorry, my summary and future directions, we're just starting this out. We only have 300 um, annotations for this um, um, uh, in POET currently. Um, there, this actually represents um, 125 diseases because we're primarily focusing on treatments and, and not um, diagnostics for different uh, phenotypes. Um, we are starting to invite um, the community um, uh, to be able to annotate, but that is, um, an ongoing process. Um, once they add their um, annotations, um, they'll be reviewed, accepted or rejected, uh, and or questioned. Um, once finalized, um, a release will be made for um, download. Obviously, we only have um, a few hundred, but we are going to make that available once they are all reviewed. Um, in a different workflow, we have um, approximately 16,000 diagnostic annotations directed to phenotype terms um, and, and that have been curated because diagnostic terms for most um, purposes um, are not um, uh, related to disease. You are just testing, um, you know, uh, in this case, urine cytology examination is investigating um, medication uh, systoluria and it's not necessarily related to that disease. That will be, within a couple of weeks, will be available on the HPO um, website. And um, please um, contribute. Um, go to Maxo page. There are definitely more medical action um, terms that need to be added. Um, you can start to do um, annotations in POET, uh, uh, poet.jax.org. Um, however, we, we are still in the beta phase, and so um, trying to learn um, what kind of hiccups there are. Um, the Maxo HP annotations, as I said, will be coming very soon. Um, thank you. Thank you for this nice presentation in a field which is truly important with uh, understanding and sorting out rare disease and medical interactions with that. Uh, maybe one question, one question, 
Thank you. Great talk. Um, when you say that a particular therapy treats a particular symptom or prevents a symptom, do you have any qualifiers for it? It treats, prevents in 50% of patients or it helps decrease the symptom but not fully, like any qualifying information about it? Um, we don't have that currently. We do have a comment field um, available, um, but we would like to restrict come up with um, qualifiers, statements, but we have to, um, you know, uh, try to bend them and, and how often and, and regulate that. Get we the data do, first and then separate. Right. Uh, so on the eight, there are many um, HBO annotations to dis disease, and those do have qualifiers for number of patients that are affected um, and things like that. So the, this will be all collated together, but... Okay, good, thank you. And this reminds me also about your nice kind of dichotomy or, or explanation that between treating the, the phenotypes and treating the disease, which I, I found very, very interesting, very good. Okay, thank you.